Hi, my YouTube family, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you are here for the first time, we do a lot of fragrance reviews. Like in this case, I have a fragrance to review for you, uh, but I do throw in some lifestyle content, fashion as well, you know, as some story time. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please do check out the description box or you can go to my homepage and check out the playlist where I've grouped everything uh, for ease of reference. And also do remember to subscribe, guys. I'd appreciate you becoming part of this family. To those who are returning, thank you so much for always supporting me. I appreciate you as always. Kindly give me a follow on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. We have a fragrance uh, to review today, and this is none other than Alwa Tanya Alia Alia Kususi. Alia there and then Kususi. Um, don't know if you can see that. Uh, so we are going to be talking about this fragrance. I've been seeing this bottle around. It kind of reminded me of um, like a pulpit, you know, in a church. Um, they have something like that. So it was just an eye catching bottle. So I thought, okay, let me purchase this and bring it to you guys here in case you were wondering what Alwa Tanya's Alia is all about. I'm going to spray it on the box right i've just done three sprays i think i like the atomizer on this one it's quite a decent atomizer now let me say one thing offset this is going to be for the beast mode lovers this is a pungent fragrance uh i sprayed four uh sprays but there, I, there was really no need i could have just gone with one it is listed as having a top that is composed of strawberry and lychee mandarin and cassis so do expect a fruity uh, fragrance just based off of that and then the mid has rose peach uh, manolia freesia as well as some casablanca lily uh, and then the base is a dark chocolate which is the reason why i bought it some sandalwood Ambret, also known as musk mallow and patchouli so those are the notes now that uh, the fragrance has kind of dried down or at least it's it's gone it's no longer like dripping or anything like that uh, let's get into what it smells like it doesn't have a harsh opening i'm gonna have to say this straight off when i sm sprayed it the first time i have a thing with these fragrances that if it just has this like a harsh opening I know exactly that it's going to give me a headache and unfortunately this was one of them but don't leave the video just yet uh, this could be an ideal scent for you watching over there it could be cassis because um, there is cassis there the use of cassis at the top and cassis can be pungent if uh, you know, if, if 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 not done in moderation, so maybe they have used cases, um in its not so small doses, and it's giving off like a, an ammoniac like cases because cases can be like a little bit pungent. This loud opening or harshness will linger on for about five ten minutes what you're going to enjoy mostly from this fragrance or with this fragrance is going to be what uh it starts to happen after like 15 20 minutes uh so if i were to keep this fragrance assuming i have to it's going to have to be a fragrance that maybe i spray 30 minutes or an hour before i wear my clothes and then i wear them then because it does have a decently beautiful dry down but i don't like how like in your face aggressive cheap kind of chemical feel there of the fruits what i pick the most is strawberry and peach leech is lychee is there uh, the citruses is there are there but i think maybe because of this um pungent pungent pungentness maybe they are buried but i i can detect a strawberry uh just sniffing like this and a peach but i did buy this one for the dark chocolate and i do think in the dry down it does translate this dark chocolate well uh, however, the dark chocolate is obviously not giving off a sweet vibe in as much as this is sweet. So if you're going to buy it for the chocolate, hoping this is going to be like a sweet chocolate scent, I get a bitter dry chocolate smell from this so the chocolate you are going to smell but it's going to smell a lot bitter the sweetness you're going to smell but that sweetness is going to be pulling on the fruitiness there are some florals here they've used three if not floor, four florals but what i get the most is the rose so when i looked at the note composition before i purchased uh, this uh, fragrance i was very excited uh, because it does list that it does have manolia freesia casablanca those kind of flowers uh but i don't get the waxiness and the lushness of manolia or casablanca i get a 
I get a, a floral that feels very rosy to my nose. I was expecting some waxiness, you know, some lushness, some lushness, some softness to uh, then fuse with these uh, fruits and the chocolate and what feels a little bit like the spice and the woods to just give it like a calming effect. So overall, I get an upbeat uh, fragrance, a fragrance that just does not relent. This gives you everything and everything and you keep getting everything. And, and to an extent, it gives off a vibe as though it is trying too hard. Um, but I can see people liking this because it does have something there that is quite likable, uh, especially if you love the beast mode kind of fragrances or fragrances that are in your face or you're that sort of person who's who's got a skin that eats fragrances this is one that might actually linger for a while i also get a little bit of, of of some greenness which could be from that intense rose maybe a little bit of some freesia but definitely not manolia in here so absolutely okay uh it might tick the boxes for someone um it's one that gave me a headache so i might not reach out for it uh, for so long, it might be one of those that I give to somebody who likes this kind of loud uh, fragrances. But as for me, um, I bought it for the chocolate. I did get the chocolate, but there is a lot of busy things going on there. There is something that, that is doing the most. In the dry down, it also has like a patchouli that is doing the most. So it fails to be a fragrance that settles down. It becomes like a composition that is so busy trying to be everything. And, you know, in the end, of course, pulls out uh, what it stands for, which is the fruitiness, pulls out what it stands for of having that chocolate. But other than that, it's just everywhere really you know but i can see other people liking this uh but uh, it's just possibly not for me i will feature it of course with grouped fragrances for the beast world lovers in case uh, somebody misses this uh video i also intend to explore more from this house because when i did purchase this i did notice that they have a lot of fragrances on the market so i'm not going to judge them based off just this one uh because you know of course it does have a pretty bottle and it looks good but in terms of what it does to me no it is a bit on the too much side dries down fruit Fruity, spicy, sweet, uh, a little bit uh, chocolatey, but with that patchouli almost disturbing everything right there. Um, in terms of lasting power, I get maybe until the next wash because it is quite a pungent uh, fragrance. Now, fragrance family wise, what this fragrance kind of reminds me of, I get a fragrance that is trying and almost coming across as a little bit of Casablanca by Swiss Arabia. Uh, but I'm not going to say they were trying to go for that because this is a Middle Eastern uh, house as well. So maybe they were just doing their own thing. But it does have wafts of what feels like Casablanca, but a little bit on the too much, like a very busy kind of Casablanca. Um, or it could be very well trying to do Jean-Paul Gaultier's uh, Labelle. Um, but it's 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 to me it's not you know hitting the mark so it could be uh that this is trying to dupe la belle by jean paul gaultier or it's you know because it does or, or or casablanca by swiss arabian because i do get get wafts off but um you know surprisingly of the two that i've mentioned which is casablanca and uh, la belle i can wear those i can stand those in this there is something there that is just doing the most that is just not working uh for me uh so this is what we had uh today nice bottle i like the bottle i just feel that it's a little bit too tall and uh, might actually fall if it's knocked over or something and because it's heavy it might end up like maybe breaking your 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 top or dress or something but it is a gorgeous bottle just looking at it i think it's nice the colors are okay c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today have you used this fragrance let me know if you have um let me know if this review was spot on let's meet in the comment section there where we discuss more about fragrances like this video if you like it and also turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video and remember smelling good is a form of good manners Cheers.